Okay, we're back now. I want to work a few more molarity, molality, mole fraction, and weight percent problems for you. You always ask me to do more, and I think this will be helpful on your homework. I don't like to do your homework for you anymore because too many kids were just watching the videos and copying down the answers. So I hope this strategy works a bit better. You really will benefit if you can do those problems without copying me or someone else. So I'm going to give you the chance to, to work with me on a few other problems. Um, to help yourself practice and get better at these things, okay? So let's take a look at this problem here. We have 2.56 grams of malic acid. Now, I found the molecular weight of that for you. Um, the formula is C4H6O5 and half of a liter of water. Now, water's density is one gram per milliliter. Half of a liter is 500 milliliters, so that would give us 500 grams of water. I'm going to find the molarity, molality, mole fraction, and weight percent. Let's do weight percent earlier. Now, by the way, that's often called mass percent. So let me write it down probably in its popular or uh, the proper form. Mass percent would be the mass of what I'm interested in, which is my solute, 2.56 grams divided by, now think about this before I write it down. Do you know what we divide it by here? Do I divide it by 500 grams, the mass of the solvent? Or do I divide it by the mass of the solvent plus the solute? Okay, if you thought about that, I, mass, I divide it by the mass of the solution, which, the, which is the mass of the solvent plus the solute. So we're going to divide it by 500 plus 2.56 grams. And then we multiply that by 100 to make it a percentage. So let's see what we end up with here. We'll use my cheap calculator once again. 2.56 divided by, let's see, 500. Oh, let's, let's do that over again. 2.56 divided by, wouldn't it be 502.56? Now that's what my calculator says. Let's multiply that by 100 to change it to a percentage. It says 0.50939%. Well, we're only allowed three significant figures, so let's call that 0.5. 0.9%. Okay? Weight percent is out of the way, as we mentioned during our notes. Weight percent is probably the easiest of the calculations. All right, maybe we can do mole fraction next. Mole fraction, as you recall, is the moles of my solute, which is what I'm interested in here, divided by the total moles of the solution. So that means we have to, div uh, we have to get everything into moles. So let's go from grams to moles of malic acid, C4H6O5, and one mole is 144.10 grams, and then we're going to go from grams, 500.0 grams of water, to moles of water. One mole of water is 18.02 grams. So this will give us moles of C4H6O5, and this will give us moles of H2O. Let's plug and chug and see what we get here. 2.56 divided by 144.10 gives me 0 0.017. Oh, let's carry an extra sig fig. I'm going to call this 7. Uh, 7. We'll underline that. I'm carrying an extra sig fig. I can round off at the end to my three sig figs. Let's do the same with water, 500 divided by 18.02, that gives me 27.75, once again we'll underline that. Well, it looks like we are allowed four sig figs here, so we'll keep that. All right, so the mole fraction here of my solute would be the moles of solute, which is 0 0.01777, I only have three sig figs there, remember, divided by the sum of... 27.75 and 0 0.01777. Let's do that sum first just for fun. So 27.75 plus 0 0.01777 gives me a total number of moles of 27.768. Once again, we're carrying some extra sig figs. So let's take our numerator, divide it by our denominator, we'll round off to three significant figures. 0 
1777 divided by 27.768 gives me a mole fraction of 6.40, rounding this off to three sig figs, times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So the mole fraction of my solute you can see is very, very small. All right. So, let's take a look. We've got mole fraction taken care of, and we've got weight percent. All we have is molarity and molality now. Oh, well, let's go ahead and do molality next. So, molality, as you know, is going to be my moles of solute, which, by the way, we already know, we figured that out a moment ago, divided by the kilograms of solvent, which in this case is water. So, how many moles of solute do we have? Well, we have 0 0.01777, we're going to underline that, that's an extra digit, moles of C48605 divided by kilograms of water. Remember we had 500 grams of water? That's 0 0.5000 kilograms. So we'll divide this out and round off to three significant figures. 0 0.01777 divided by 0 0.5000. My calculator says 0 0.03554. We're allowed three significant figures, so 0 0.0355. And the small letter M is my symbol for molality. So we're moving right along here. We've now got molality taken care of. So we have weight percent, we have mole fraction, and we have molality. One more to go. And that is our molarity. Now molarity is moles of solute, which by the way, we already know. You'll notice the numerator for molarity and molality are the same. Moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Now we're going to have to assume something here. We have a very small amount of solute dissolved in this 500 grams of water. We're going to assume our density um, of our solution is 1.00 grams per mil. So if we have 500 grams, that would give us 500 milliliters. So our moles of solute, once again, we know that from up here. 0 0.01777 moles of C48605 divided by our liters of solution. Now it just so happens that the volume of our solution happens to be the same as the mass of our solvent in kilograms. That is not normal. So please don't think that the molarity and molality will always equal each other. But in this case, since it's so dilute, as far as significant figures are concerned, the molarity and molality do. You're going to find out later that the volume of the solution is not always the same as the mass of the solvent in kilograms, so don't make that assumption. Okay? So we're done with that problem. All right, let's take a look at the next one. It's somewhere down here. I have some blank paper just in case I need it. So let's go ahead and we will find the weight percent and mole fraction of my sodium iodide uh, solution. Now the molality is 0.15. So that's 0.15 moles of sodium iodide per kilogram of water. We have to assume my wa uh, solvent is water. So what's my weight percent? Well that shouldn't be too bad. Once again, probably the proper terminology is mass percent. So we have to have grams of solute. My problem is I have moles of solute. So I have 0.15 moles of sodium iodide. This time we need to go from moles of sodium iodide into grams. One mole of sodium iodide, I figured the molecular formula weighed out before I started this video. It's 149.90 grams. So let's see how many grams of solute we have. 0.15 times 149.90 equals 22. We're going to carry an extra sig fig for just a second. Grams 
of sodium iodide. We will go ahead and round off to two sig figs when we're finished. So I have the mass of my solute, 22.5 grams. Once again, we're carrying an extra digit there. Divided by the mass of my solution. Now I have a kilogram of water. One kilogram of water is 1,000 grams. So I have 1,000 grams of water, that's my solvent, plus 22.5 grams of solute, so that's 1,022.5 grams of solution. We change that to a percentage by multiplying by 100. So we'll take our 22.5 and we'll divide it by 1,022.5, multiply it by 100. Hopefully my calculator is working properly, I get 2.2 percent rounded off to two significant figures. Let's try that again. 22.5 divided by 1,022.5 times 100 rounded off to two, sig two significant figures is 2.2 percent. So we can put 2.2 percent in there. Well, what's the mole fraction going to be? Well, remember mole fraction is going to be my moles of solute divided by total moles. So I know the moles of solute. I have that from a previous problem. So I need to find moles of solvent. So I have a thousand grams of water. We need to go from grams of water to moles of water. One mole of water is 18.02 grams. So 1,000 divided by 18 point up. Oh, let's try that again. 1,000 divided by 18.02 gives me 55.49 moles of water. So let's find our mole fraction. We have 0.15 moles of solute, sodium iodide, divided by 55.49 moles of water and 0.15 moles of solute. So the sum of these two here would be 55 point, let's see, 64 moles. So let's do the math with my cheap calculator. We'll clear this out. 0.15 divided by 55.64. Uh, we leave that as a percent, uh, as, as a fraction. We don't change it to a percentage. Two significant figures, 2.7 times 10 to the negative 1 2 3rd would be the mole fraction of my solution, or my solute in my solution. 2.7 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, not so bad, is it? Alrighty, let's do the next part here. This time I give you the weight percent. So this means that I have 5.0 grams of C2H5OH and that must mean I have 95.0 grams of water. See the sum of the two gives me 100 and 5% means 5 out of 100. So let's convert this to moles. We will go grams of C2H5OH into moles of C2H5OH. I figured the molecular weight out for you earlier. 46.08 grams per mole. So let's see what we get here. 5 divided by 46.08 gives me 0.11 moles of C2H5OH. And if we, whoops, sorry, I guess we could call that 0 0.109 if we wanted to carry an extra significant figure just for a minute. So my molality will be moles of solute, 0 0.109 moles of solute, divided by kilograms of water, which is 95 grams or 0 0.095 kilograms. 0 0.109 divided by 0 0.095 gives me one point well, we're only allowed two significant figures, so we have to round that off to 1.1 molal. Okay, so 1.1 molal. Now the mole fraction, that means I'm going to have to convert grams of water to moles of water. 
One mole of water is 18.02 grams. So let's see what that turns out to be. 95 divided by 18.02 gives me 5.27 moles of water. So the mole fraction would be the moles of solute, 0.109, remember we're carrying an extra digit there, divided by the sum, which would be 5.27 moles of water plus 0.109 moles of solute. Let's reduce the calculator for that. 5.27 plus 0.109 gives me 5.38. So let's find out what our mole fraction is. 0 0.109 divided by 5.38. We'll round off to two sig figs here. 0 0.020 would be the mole fraction of my C2H5. OH and water. So point zero two zero. Okay? Now, I think that you can do this next one on your own. You'll notice that it's very similar to the first one that we did. So take your time and do it. It would have been nice, wouldn't it, if I had the answers for you, but I don't offhand. So take your time and do it. You can check with me in class and I'll let you know if you've done them correctly. Alrighty, so you should be ready to do your homework and any uh, molarity, molality, weight percent, mole fraction problem. If you need further assistance, please come see me before or after school. Or get together with a friend that knows what the heck they're doing and they can help you out. It helps them too. Alright, bye-bye.